This video is called Grouping Things Together, and it goes with Chapter 5 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, what I want to talk about is groups in this video. Now, groups are basically um, groups of geometry, that is, faces and edges that can be selected and moved and affected and all that stuff by, by clicking once, basically, instead of a whole bunch of times. And you make groups by basically selecting a whole bunch of stuff and then telling it to be a group. But before we go into how to make a group, I wanted to talk a little bit about the benefits of using groups. Um, and also components, actually, if you read ahead in the chapter, over not using groups and components. Okay, what I did is I drew a couple different rectangles here. I'm just going to use the push-pull tool to push these up into little boxes. Let's push this over like that. And I'm going to push this up into a little box, too. All right. This is a really simple demonstration of um, what groups do and, and what happens if you don't use groups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little box, the one on the right, and I'm going to select it. I'm going to take this Move tool, and I'm going to grab this guy, and I'm just going to stick it over here. Now, if you notice, what I have is two boxes, right? There's a box there, if I look at it from underneath, box here and a box there. If I want to stick the second box to the first box, I'm just going to pick it up from there and put it right there. Okay right so pretty simple what I've got is is two boxes there and um, if both are deselected I still have two boxes right and if I want to just select one of them again just the same one that I had before let's deselect that edge oops oh, I'm hitting the wrong key I'm going to hit shift and click to deselect and if I want to select all that stuff I had selected before I'm just gonna draw a little box with the select tool around it and I've got the first little box that I moved into position right there okay so since I reselected it, I ought to be able to just move it away, right? So let's just grab the Move tool, and um, let's just kind of grab it anywhere on the box and move it. And, oops, look what happens. It's, it's actually stuck to the other box. Now, that might have been what you wanted actually to happen. Probably it wasn't what you wanted to happen. Now, let's talk about why that happened. Basically, geometry, that is edges and faces in SketchUp, is what's called sticky, which means that when you stick one edge to where there's an edge uh, that already existed, basically, if you make two edges into one edge, watch, I'm going to take all this and then get the move tool, and this edge that I'm kind of hovering over right here, if I just move that edge over here, this edge right here, that, that became one edge. Instead of one edge and then an edge that, that was over here, this is now one edge, which means anything that I do I'm just gonna select all this stuff again and then use the shift key and deselect that if I try and move this guy away it's it's actually stuck to that again so maybe maybe you wanted that to happen probably you didn't want that to happen the way to prevent that from happening is to use groups watch this I'm going to do the same thing that I did before but first I'm gonna make this guy over here on the right a group and I'm gonna do that by doing this I'm gonna draw a thing around it just like that. I'm going to select it and draw a selection box around it to select the whole thing and then I'm going to right click on it and when I right click I get this whole list of of options in the context menu. I'm going to choose make group and when I choose make group notice it gets this blue outline all the way around it like that and that tells me that it's a group. Um, it also tells me that it's a component if it's a component. There's no visual difference between a component and a group when you make one, but in this case I chose group, so I know it's a group. Now we can get into components later. Watch what happens now. If I take my move tool and grab this guy right where I grabbed it before and move it over here, just like that, and then deselect everything, you'll notice that it kind of looks the way that it did before, right? Um, except that these edges are thick, so that's kind of a tip-off for people who are experienced at looking at SketchUp models that these two geometries haven't actually been stuck together. But watch. I'm going to go ahead and select that box again. And notice how it comes with, with this blue selection outline. That means it's a group or a component. I'm going to take this Move tool and move this away, and lo and behold, they don't stick together. And that's because one of them is a group. So if you want to keep geometry from sticking to other geometry when you move them together or apart, that sort of thing, what you have to do is work with groups to do that. Okay, and that makes it easier to work with your model all the way around. Um, if I were to put, let's actually just backspace here. If I were to put a roof on top of this guy, let's put a little simple cartoony pitched roof on top of this little rectangle, just like that. And then I actually, I don't know, cut it off with a couple of edges, just like this. Now, 
I do have um, a bunch of faces right there, right? So I've got one, two, three, four faces that define that roof. Let's take the Select tool and select that roof, just like this, and then use the Move tool and see if I can take that roof off. Oh, I can't take the roof off, right? Because it's actually stuck there. But watch what happens if I do this. I'm going to get the Select tool again. I'm going to right-click on that selected stuff and say Make Group. And when I say that, what I end up with is this. Let's take the Move tool again and move this away and look what happened. I'm able to actually move all that stuff away because it became separated from this first object just in making it a group. And the same thing happens if you make it a component. Again, we'll talk about components in later videos and later on in the book. But that's sort of the basic operating principle there for why groups make it really, really useful. Um, or It's really, really useful to, to make groups while you're actually building models. Okay, last thing, let's talk about naming groups. A couple different ways you can do that. First way you can do it is to select the group that you want to name, right click, and what we're going to do is choose this Entity Info option right at the top. And what that does is it opens the Entity Info dialog box, and what I've got here is a little thing that says, uh, this is a group, you have one group in your model. This says it's painted with the default materials. Let's, let's just expand this. Uh, it has some options for how it's, you know, whether it's hidden, whether it's locked, it has some shadow stuff. I'm just going to minimize that again so that I'm not looking at all those options. It tells me what layer this group is on. We'll talk about layers uh, later on in the book, actually in chapter, layer, later on in this chapter. I apologize. Okay, and more importantly, right here I can name this. So let's name it. I'm going to name that group Roof. And now this group is actually called the Roof. And if I go ahead and choose that thing, it's going to say you've got the roof right now. And where that comes into play is in the, the outliner. I'm going to go up to the window menu and choose outliner. And that opens up the outliner dialog box. And what this shows me is that I have a file called untitled. You'll notice that it's a new file in SketchUp, so it's called untitled. And inside my file, I have a group called roof. So I can actually rename stuff right here in the outliner. I can go to rename and I can choose another one and call it um, My Roof, maybe, something like that. So I can name things right here in the outliner, or I can name things up here in Entity Info. And notice how I changed it here and automatically changed there. All right. So that is the end of the video called Grouping Things Together to go with Chapter 5 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.